In Photoshop, you can find all the filters via the filter menu. Really powerful neural filters. If you go here, you've got a load of great AI filters that are all accessed and processed on your machine. What you need to do is go down here and you can see you've got options such as style transfer. Click that and you can apply an image such as the Vincent van Gogh or this one to your image here and it will create an unusual style and you can modify it in numerous ways. To activate it, just make certain this is turned on and now select one of these. But even more powerful is this option, go to custom. The presets are great, but custom, click here and you can select an image and it could be any image on your computer. So just go here and select that and select an image from a computer. And I've got a file here of all my Adobe stock images, got loads and loads. So you can select literally thousands of Im images. I'm gonna go with this one, got a lot of hair. Use this image. Now it does take a few seconds to process, get a little bar on bottom, processing on device. You can also modify it. once you've actually applied it, you can tweak it, you can increase the strength, you can blur back and so on. So there's the initial effect using that. Now at this point, it doesn't look like it's really used much of the hair and that's what I want, but it has created sort of brown visual effect and lots of distortion as well. But what you can do, you can also just go here and you can scroll over it drag to crop image, and you can select a part. So if you've got a particular part of the image you like, select that, and I'm just gonna go with this, the hair. So just select as much as possible. So I think that's quite nice. Again, it will take a few seconds to process, processing on device, and you will see the hair added in to your building. Now it's not gonna be an exact, everything suddenly turns into hair. That doesn't happen, but it certainly creates a far more interesting visual effect, you can see the hair strands all the way through this. And of course you can also move it, you can clear the crop, but you can also go down here, maybe put it over there and you can vary the crop, maybe the size of the crop. I think sometimes bigger is better, sometimes you make it very small, the image ends up very blurry. So I'm just applying it now, this time with the face, and it will then use that as the style for this image. And you get that. So literally just a mod slight modification will change the end result. But also what you can do is you can go and select, instead of that, you can select another image, but you can also select something you've created earlier. Maybe you've created a design with a gradient, maybe patterns, all kinds of things can then be applied as a style. So this one, untitled, it's a gradient design I created earlier with a wave effect. And now you can see the wave effect added there, here's the image so you can see it, and it will be applied to this. Now it doesn't wave the image, but it will apply the style that it perceives to your image, and you'll get something very, very garish in this case. And again, you can do exactly the same as before. You can crop over particular areas. So if you decide, you know what, I want it to be more green, maybe green and pink, just crop over that bit. And then when it processes the image, it will use the green and pinks, and you will get less of the other colors mixed in. And of course, you can also modify, like I said, strength. There's a load of settings down here. Also, you can modify the details there. You can see the effect has been applied. It does create a slightly blurry effect when you really crop quite a small part of the image. And then you can modify black, black, background blur even. Also, modify the brightness and also saturation. So if you really want to intensify the saturation, just increase that. So just push this up and you'll get a very, very intense saturation, though it was pretty saturated already. Once you're finished with it, you can then go output it. You can put it as a current layer, so it will go over your current image. So if I select that, current image is completely wiped out, though you can still use fades and combine it. You can also apply it to a new layer. Personally, I always prefer that option. So new layer, select that, and then click OK. And then the visual effect is applied as a layer. Great thing about layers is you can remove them. So if you don't want to keep it, you can simply deselect that or just delete it. But also go up here, you can use blend modes. Click here and go linear, 
And you can see then run through these and you might think, you know what, lighter colour looks nicer. You've got all those lovely garish bits of saturation, but also you can still see the house as well. And you can go with that. Obviously, then you can just go to layer and flatten the image, but also you still can apply maybe effects to that. So you can blur it, maybe apply neural filters to that. Also, go to some of the other ones as well, maybe stylize and oil paint, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always great. Also, please, any comments, have you used neural filters? Which one is your favorite out of all the neural filters? I like style transfer but I guess that you'll have different choices on that one. Bye.